guys, welcome back to Big John TV. On today's What's Cooking Wednesday, I'm putting together two of my favorite kind of dishes, keto and instant pot. We're gonna make an instant pot butter chicken. So you might notice that I'm a bit red. Yesterday we were at the California Hot Sauce Expo. It was hot food, hot sauces, and it was pretty hot and sunny out in that parking lot. So I'm a bit red. And you can tell I had sunglasses on. Did you guys see me eating hot peppers? That was on our Facebook and Instagram. Check it out if you haven't already. I can't believe I did that. So this dish is not going to be as hot as the peppers I ate. It's got a nice mild spice of some jalapenos. Just a few ingredients, really simple. So come on, let's put it together. All right, we're going to start by marinating our chicken. We're going to put together a quick marinade here with some yogurt. This is plain yogurt, one cup. All right, to our yogurt, we're going to add one tablespoon of garam masala. This has kind of an allspice smell to me. There's sweet and savory in there. It smells great. Next, we'll add two tablespoons of turmeric. One teaspoon of cumin. This is ground cumin. We'll add one tablespoon of lemon juice. I'm gonna add about a half a teaspoon of sea salt. And we'll stir this together. All right, this already smells fabulous. Let's get this on top of some chicken. Okay, I've got about two pounds of chicken thighs, boneless, skinless, diced into one inch pieces. And to this, we're gonna add our yogurt mix. And we wanna coat all the chicken. All right, that looks well coated. This is gonna go in the fridge for at least an hour. It can be done as early as overnight. Into the fridge it goes. Okay, we've got our Instant Pot set to saute. We've got a quarter cup of butter in here and one tablespoon of oil. To this we're gonna add one medium onion diced. I'm gonna let that soften up. Now in place of the butter, you can actually use ghee, but I didn't have any ghee, which if you didn't know is clarified butter. Regular butter is an absolutely fine substitute as well. All right, once those are softened up a bit, we're gonna add some ginger. Fresh ginger looks like this. This one had a nice little arm. We're gonna add one inch, so we took the arm off and we grated it down into this. And that goes straight in there. Oh, this smells so good. Next, we've got three cloves of garlic that's been through a garlic press, so it's nice and fine. Next, we're gonna add in a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon and two teaspoons of cumin. And we're gonna add about seven ounces of diced tomatoes with the juice. I've actually done diced tomatoes with jalapenos for this one. Add just a little bit of a kick. Next, we'll add in half a cup of chicken stock. All right, and last, we'll add in our chicken. Then we place our lid on our Instant Pot, seal it up. All right, we're gonna cancel saute, turn it on to pressure cook, and we want five minutes at high pressure, and then we will natural, natural release for 10 minutes. Here we go. Okay, our timer just went off. From this point, we're gonna let it natural release for about 10 minutes, and then we'll switch it to venting. Okay, 10 minutes is up. Turning this to venting. All right. Woo, steaminess. Oh, that smells really good. We are gonna finish this off with about three quarters of a cup of heavy whipping cream. All right, this looks great, but it's a little bit thinner than I'd like it to be. So to thicken it up and keep it keto, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of almond flour and let it saute for just a minute. All right, I'm gonna eat mine over some steamed cauliflower, but you could also have this over regular rice, which is probably how the kids will eat it. 
That looks fabulous. Let's give it a taste. All right. Time to eat. So John's here. Yeah. Uh, this this smells delicious. I could I could smell it walking up the driveway outside. Actually, I'm gonna get a fork too. So this is butter chicken. Okay. And this is my plate, so it's got cauliflower because it's keto. So the butter chicken naturally or traditionally is a very keto friendly dish. It just gets ruined on the keto friendliness the when you get the non bread and the rice. So oh. if you eat it with cauliflower and no non or find a, a keto friendly non recipe, which I have seen some. A non non? A non non. <laughs> but yeah, then it's totally keto. What you think? Tell us about it. That is delicious. It's got a really good flavor. It's not overpowering. It's really smooth, which I'm assuming that butter that's in there. Mm -hmm. The chicken is great. Cooked perfectly. Falls apart, yep. which is what you want in a dish like this. And that's fantastic. I actually don't mind the cauliflower. I love cauliflower. Get some of the sauce on there. That sauce would be good on a shoe. Here's a trick. If you think that cauliflower is kind of stinky, when you cook it in the microwave, Cook with a little bit of milk instead of water, and that gets rid of the stinkiness. Hmm. Because you didn't smell cauliflower when you walked in here, did no, you? No, I just smell that. It yeah. smells heavenly. So there you go. Yeah. Tip of the day. Cool. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Make sure you click the like, subscribe, and share with your friends. See you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. See you.